Okay, we're on. Hi friends, uh, this is Miranda and I'm with the Virtual Nature Network. And our goal as always is to connect you guys with the power of nature. And in that spirit, I wanted to announce that today is World Rainforest Day. And to celebrate that, we have a special guest with us today. Her name is Nianta Spellman and she is the founder of Rainforest Partnership. They are based here in Austin, Texas. And what they do is they actually um, partner with people and communities living in the Amazon rainforest to help conserve their, um, their land and the rainforest. So Nyanta, can we just start by, um, I wanted to ask you like, why are rainforests important? Like why are we, why bother even celebrating World Rainforest Day? Well, first of all, thank you for having me um, as a guest, Miranda. Yeah. Um, and happy World Rainforest Day. Yeah. So, why rainforests? So, rainforests make up less than 3% of the surface area of our planet. And yet, I think most of us know how they are so disproportionately important to, to life itself on this planet because of the role they play. Uh, in terms of regulating our climate and our water cycle and holding more than 50% of our biodiversity and the, the countless numbers of indigenous people uh, uh, that live in these forests and so much more. Um, they're life itself. Um, yeah. And uh, we need them to thrive so that we humans can thrive. Absolutely. Well, great. Thanks for sharing that with us. And so what is it that you do, Nianta, for, and the Rainforest Partnership? How do you guys work to help conserve the rainforest? So our work, um, protecting tropical rainforests can be done in many ways. Our unique way of working is to work directly with communities, indigenous and local communities that live in and around forests, rainforests, and help them not just make an income that allows them to protect the forest, but also give them other various tools um, and layers of protection that help them to do this. And so that includes working with every layer of government, as it were, to create uh, protected areas, to um, make sure everybody understands the conservation value for these forests and why these very rich forests this very biodiverse ecosystem is so important, not just to the communities that live in the forest, but to the places surrounding them, in the countries they're in, and the rest of the world. Wow, you guys do some amazing work. I really, I really enjoy working with you guys and, and, and hearing what you're up to. Um, Nyanta, what can we do as ordinary citizens to help, to help you in your, in your cause, help to help solve the room? help save the rainforest for, for us and for the, for the world. So, do you know, rainforests, um, they've been threatened for decades now. Mm -hmm. In my lifetime, and I'm about, okay, I will not out you. I won't say how much older <laughs> I am than you, but I'm 55. <laughs> and basically, in my lifetime, we've basically lost about half the rainforests. And when you think about the sheer amount of biodiversity they hold and the very important role they play for us, it is incredibly important that we make sure they remain intact and in, in um, just to keep this balance that our planet needs. We've gotten used to as humans to this climate that sustains us and everything else that's with us. And so uh, when you get to that place and we understand that, we need to do something, not just somebody like Rainforest Partnership, but everybody else that can and understands. But that cannot happen until and unless people understand why these forests are important, that they're not just this beautiful, magical, amazing places. I mean, they are. So yeah. that's a side note. They're just magical. They're beautiful. Um, they're life itself. It's like everything. They're just teeming with life. But they do so much more. And they're so important to us. But if we don't understand why they're important and how from my phone, and every phone has rare metals that comes at the expense of 
some tropical rainforests mm. to the corn and soybean that grows in what were formerly tropical rainforests in the Amazon and Brazil mostly, but other places too, that came into our, our um, global uh, uh, supply chain so that most things we consume has some aspect of it or palm oil that yeah. is in so many different uh, products. Yeah. So if we don't understand how, it's not just the big companies, it's not just countries doing it, it's not just those people doing it. It's all linked to all of us as well. So if we don't understand that, we cannot do something about it. So how do we first yeah. acknowledge the forests and then understand you know, what they do for us and then understand our individual link to them. If we do that, I think that can start, that's the seed for starting some sort of action and a reaction to go and do something that will help them once again thrive. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't know if that's, that's the sort of answer you were looking for, but... Um, well, I know um, that is the answer that we're looking for, and I think it helps to have, like, specific things. So um, I remember someone on your team saying um, one of the things we could do was to... Um, one of the biggest impacts we could have was to stop eating as much red meat. Um, and, of course, palm oil, stop stop purchasing products with palm oil in them and and then doing what we can to support support people like you either um, to donate or volunteer our time to support your mission and um, yeah if you have anything to add to that so uh, you're right um, if you know coming with um, this awareness what if a small fraction of us Maybe we didn't stop eating red meat. I'm a vegetarian, so you know I uh, I can say, oh, don't eat meat. But that's not how it works. For a lot of people, they crave it, they need it. But what if instead you asked when you bought it, where is it coming from? Is it coming at the expense of a tropical rainforest or the feed for that cow? Is that coming at the expense of tropical rainforest? Palm oil. It's hard to keep track of palm oil. It's, there's so many different fractions mm -hmm. of, you know, the names that I used. And so, but what if we started asking? And then, of course, we, we do so much. And we've been powered by volunteers, really high-functioning, incredible volunteers. Over a thousand, we're in our 13th year, over a thousand today. And some of them have been part of the organization since the beginning lending us their incredible talent and experiences and their rich knowledge. Um, and they've powered the work we've done to have a global impact. And then of course, there's no way getting around just hard dollars for the actual work we do on the ground, working with the communities that we work with, the governments we work with in actually making incredible difference. And we do. And for that, I would invite any of your audiences to go check out world, um, uh, rainforestpartnership.org mm -hmm. uh, or write to us to learn because I can tell you, we've done unparalleled work. And by the way, because as women, we, you know, we leave a lot of people in the dust. And of course, we have a very diverse team and we have wonderful men on our team too. But we've been women-led. <laughs> and women powered and um, on the ground and in our headquarters and part of our team. Um, we've managed to do some amazing things. And so the return on investment of donated dollars that we're able to provide is pretty incredible. And I, I challenge folks to find others that can match us for what we, what we get back uh, or what you get back. Yeah. So all those, but sometimes I start with a very simple thing. And that is, we're outside, you were outside until the neighbor started doing some yard work. And that is, just take a breath. Mm. And if you just took a breath and acknowledged 
that that oxygen was circulated by those wonderful trees in the Amazon and other rainforests around the world. Yeah. It's a wonderful start to know how connected we are as a planet. Oh, thank you for saying that. I really love that. Thank you, Nianta. Um, I just wanted to tell the audience as well about our uh, unique collabor collaboration that we did together a couple years ago. Um, I should tell people about my, my company. I own a small business called Flash Tattoos. And basically we sell temporary tattoos, but they're not your ordinary temporary tattoos. They, uh, you can see for these little bracelets that I designed, these are temporary tattoos with like metallic <laughs> details. <laughs> and we designed, uh, they're part of this special pack that we designed for the Rainforest Partnership, our ELIA pack. And they're, um, here I'll show you the sheet. They are um, what we call friendship bracelets. We also have the, the blue morpho butterfly. Basically we're saying, you know, these friendship bracelets, if you, if you buy this pack, you're a friend of the rainforest. And 5% um, of the sale of this pack goes back to Nianta and her team at the Rainforest Partnership. So we just wanted to let you know that's another way that you can help support their cause. And we, I will leave the um, website link uh, in the comments for you guys if you're interested in purchasing one of these. And you can use code VNN, capital VNN, um, to get 10% off, um, off your pack. And um, yeah, is there anything else you wanted to say, Nianta, before we... Yeah, so I first of all want to thank you. Um, that partnership has been so inspiring. I have gone, not just worn the flash tattoos, um, I have worn it at our events, you've seen me wear the blue morpho, I have worn it, and they're so striking. And it's been wonderful to share this. We've taken them to our communities. Oh my gosh, the little kids that just come, you know, and it's like, can you just, you know, wear them over a month or two? Oh no, they come with, you know, and it's like one kid after another. Um, I took them to our women in Sunny Isla, and they were just so thrilled, and the kids. But it's even older women and men. Like yeah. they will put them up here, the feathers and you know. And yeah. what's lovely about the flash tattoos and they were inspired, I tell the story, you know, we met uh, for dinner mm -hmm. at Dolce Vita, at then Dolce Vita and we made the agreement that day and that was on January third and by February fifteenth you had a soft launch and in March you had um you went and uh, uh launched it and and there's been that partnership and so these flash tattoos have gone with me to the climate conferences oh. took them to you know to paris cop um 21 everybody knows about and other climate conferences and um and it's a way of connecting because forests are far away yeah so how do we connect them and art inspires it educates it provokes it celebrates and art has such a power to open minds to ideas that people hadn't considered. And if you think about it, you know, your team was inspired by our stories, by our pictures. Ilya means the enlightened one. You know, we did that poll between your team and ours uh, for what we would call it. You wanted to call it Nianta, and my team said, absolutely not. <laughs> and and you know and we'd asked the women in our community to give us some names as well mm -hmm. uh, it also means lightning in quechua right and what was so lovely about it is that it it was something that connected people the forest to something that people are doing here tangible yeah and, and it's the way, yeah. what I love about flash tattoos too is that it, it's a conversation starter, right? You're, you're wearing them and you meet people and they're like, oh, what is that? What are you wearing? And it's an opportunity for you to talk about uh, or for anyone to talk about the rainforest and, and just talk about, you know, why you're wearing them, where you, where you got them and what, what is the story and the inspiration behind them. I, I totally agree. I mean, it's wonderful just from that perspective. And, and so when you asked, there's so many such products and, you know, um, we done co-branding with uh, some other folks, but really the one I'm the most proud of is our partnership. And, you know, we've done it for kombucha and cacao and we have it for a book. And I think the reason is there's something, 
you took the most time in a way and it was it was very focused very early but you know to learn and ground your designs in the stories of our projects and and um uh you know i came into that presentation you came to our office and i think you grounded in it and and i think that's carried over time um and you can do that with so much right uh where people want to connect so if you had a chocolate product and people knew chocolate cacao originated in the amazon actually yeah. very close to where our community of sunny isla is through genetic work, uh, that's what we know. But can you imagine, so when you drink that cacao product, you'd know that you're connecting to the forest. Mm -hmm. And just as you do with these beautiful um, images. And I think in this world where we're at, connection is so important that we were at that place where we need connection. And so um, the only other thing I would say is if you haven't paid much attention to rainforest, so if you thought they were already saved in the 80s, or if you thought, <laughs> I can't do anything here, I would invite folks, well, we already asked folks to learn about Rainforest Partnership, that's the organization mm -hmm. that I run, along with some incredible, amazing people and our teams on the ground, um, and the incredible things we've done is not just worked with communities, but we've discovered new species, Wow. of frogs and snakes and we have new populations of monkeys and I mean, it's just incredible all the stories that we can tell you but something else we did two global initiatives one was, one was films for the forest we won't talk about it here but the other one world rainforest day we created world rainforest day and launched it in 2017 Maybe. as a global day of action and activation and so this uh, 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 this year, uh, there's so many partners around the world. So today, all sorts of folks are joining us globally on all six continents. And, and we're going to have uh, films and events that a whole bunch of folks are doing uh, that are streaming throughout the day. Um, and so go to worldrainforestday.org. Mm -hmm. or share your action, hashtag World Rainforest Day. Yes. And it may be just you taking a breath and thanking the rainforest. It can be that simple. Yes, I love that. It is that simple. It can be that simple. Uh, funny story, Nyanta. So um, the, our team here at the Virtual Nature Network, we were looking at what to, you know, each week kind of has a theme and we were looking at what to celebrate this week. And obviously um, we discovered it was World Rainforest Day. And I... <laughs> By looking it up, I realized that that Rainforest Partnership was the one to create that day. And I was like, oh, that's so amazing. So um, I'm just so glad that we were able to have you here to speak to that, to speak to all things Rainforest. You're such a great um, ambassador for the Rainforest, a role model for the Rainforest and, and the ultimate nature lover. And um, yeah, I hope that everyone has enjoyed meeting Nianta and, and talking with her. If you have any questions for Nianta, please just comment below and we will make sure that they get answered. And yeah, thanks. Oh, and you know, your channel could be a World Rainforest Day partner. Oh, we would love and that. I think, uh, um, so just email at wrd at rainforestpartnership.org. Okay. Uh, and uh, we can have you, uh, I, my team tells me that we're still adding, I mean, they're still coming. <laughs> you know, I guess we'll stop when it is, midnight at the end of the international <laughs> dateline. <laughs> we'll come in right at the last minute on, on the day of. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, well, thanks guys. And um, again, if you have any questions for Nianta, feel free to ask in the comments below and um, check out rainforestpartnership.org, check out worldrainforestday.org, check out flashtattoos.com uh, and um, happy World Rainforest Day. Bye. Bye-bye.